There I is. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Dead Space 3. I know I was supposed to be playing this uh, yesterday. <laughs> oh, man, I was dead on my feet, let me tell you. Anyway, enough of my waffling. Let's continue from where we left off, and I believe we are on the very last legs of, uh, of Dead Space 3. We got to be freaking close to the end. I'm, I'm just saying. I know, I know. I was saying it right the way to the end of the, uh, the end of the last stint, but so we're backtracking a little bit now. We've got to get back to somewhere. The thing with the weird foldy arms I think but I've got a sneaky suspicion it's not gonna be as easy as all that is he gonna send more enemies out at me I'll be surprised if it don't that freaking music yo oh boy okay not going to pretend that I'm not pleased about that because oh. this isn't the way Isaac there is a future for you for all of us leave me alone Danik you can see them again Isaac everyone you've lost along the way it's a future with no regrets I have no regrets Danik one way or another this will all be over soon Isaac Danik, you are a fool, a madman, and a fool. Don't worry though, Danik. It'll all be over soon. Like Isaac said, one way or the other, we're gonna get ya. We're gonna get you, get you, get you, get you one way. Okay, so the game's saved again. getting left behind dude I probably could have avoided most of that but so we going for a flyby how do I do this again I don't want to smash into anything along the way because that would be pretty brutal I dare say Now, when I left here, I did leave some nasties. Load. 
not even gonna sugarcoat it. Twitches fucking hate. Right. Any more of you nasty bastards? Or do you think you're going to let me uh, open this up peacefully, eh? I've got a feeling this is going to be my last bench. How many times am I going to say that now? All three scavenger bots have returned. Now we've got plus two rate of fire, plus two damage here. Plus two reload, plus two clip. Set plus two damage plus one clip, two damage, one clip, two damage. All right, we'll go with that then. And away we go. Oh, actually, what is my supplies like? Egad, glad I checked. I'm going to need some room to pick stuff up. Right. I think we're golden good to go. Let's get ready to do whatever I gotta do. I get the horrible feeling something's going to come popping out of that fucking hole. Yeah, that looks about right. I've got to go back down the elevator. Is that? Oh. Damn it, damn it. I know you think you're doing the right thing, but you are wrong, Isaac. You have to let me turn off the machine. My reinforcements have arrived. With a big surprise. Oh, God. What, did they bring up a frickin' hive mind? Ah, oh, fuck off. Fuck me! Ah, shit. Well, I ain't picking up whatever that was. Ugh. Oh! Get 
the... Oh, God. Right, we already opened this one. Apparently. Oh shit! I did not mean to take that direct shot with a rocket. That'll kill anyone. Good gravy. Oh, so much noise. Those are what you want to become, you fucking numpty. Yeah, you want me to come fucking get me. I'm not hanging around. Huh. What the shit? Okay, now what? Three receptacles, three statues, three markings. What's the final step? <sighs> okay, so we're gonna figure this out then. So that one obviously goes in there. Hopefully they don't know how to open doors. Well, I need to get over there. Ah, okay. Right, we'll leave that back there. We don't care about whatever's there.
Right. You know, I probably should have killed that thing because it's being hella noisy, but, uh, uh, you, sir, are pissing me off. Okay. If and when you don't succeed, nail him to the fucking wall. Right. They're squelching in the background there, that's fine. Let's open this up quickly. Pick up a couple of mediums. I'm going to get all of my ammo. Right, ah, right, yeah, actually, can't leave without that thing. Whatever it is. Perfect placement, if I do say so myself. All right, Carver. Another door just opened up. We gotta be close to the control center for the codex. We've done everything else Serrano's set to do. I'm heading in. In we go. The Infernal Machine. Ah. Well, gone and busted my knee open. I suppose the Codex is in Mahad's hands by now. And this place is about to be buried. Like everywhere else. <laughs> I remember telling my college professor I wanted to study Zeno archaeology. He laughed right in my face. There's nothing to study. It's all dead space. No alien life exists out in the universe. In a way, I guess he was right. There is no life beyond our system. Only a trail of extinction wrought by the moon. And now, it's right on our doorstep. Well, above us lies the means of turning off the machine, but also the means to complete it. Turning it off will finish our species. Completing it will save us. I had hoped to be here to witness the saving part. It would have been spectacular to witness the moon getting pulled into the planet and crushed to oblivion. A final act by the natives. A sacrifice to save us all. But now, I must rest. Perhaps Tim will be along soon with the Codex. Ah... Uh. I don't think Tim would have ever made it through all of that to get here, buddy. Despite the fact that he had a gun put to his head in the end. Oh, man. We're going up. Okay. That burns.
that one is going up next. Well, I stopped that at just the right time, didn't I? An absolute numpty. Okay, so it's not going to let me... Let me through, let me through. No, maybe not then. Alright. Wow. I did it again. I did it again. Oh my god. Fool of a took. Right, this time... Go! Go, 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 Isaac, go! Oh, I do not like these freaking weird angled sections. <gasps> no! No! Shit! No! Oh, f Fudge Packers. Which side's going next? Oh, I didn't even see that starting up. What? Oh. Okay. Nearly there. Nearly there. Christ. Hey, Carver. How the hell did he get up here before me? I call bullshit. You know what's at stake. Okay, everybody calm down, okay? Danik, give me the codex or I will kill her. No! Isaac, what are you doing? You, you got a second chance. If he turns off the machine, we're all dead. Her, us, everyone. Don't let it all go dark, Isaac. There's more than one kind of right. No! <laughs> Oh shit. Oh shit. I've done it. I've finally done it. The darkness is in the end. Let the evolution begin. Oh. Well, he's dead. When I finish this, it's all going down. Everything. You have to go. No! You two get out of here. Go back to Earth space. Tell them what we found. I'm staying. That's all I got left. You can't stop her, Carver. Not without me. I'm the marker killer, remember? Isaac. I turned my back on the world because I was afraid of what needed to be done. Ellie, I'm not afraid anymore. There's a shuttle over there. I want you to take it head for home. Uh, world, uh, universe is ending. Her up. Don't come back for me. We both know I'm not going home. Go!
so. Good gravy. How do we stop a living fucking moon? Y'all took too long. Could have had this sorted sooner. What is this? Reach the machine. No kidding. How am I? Oh my days. What is this game doing to me? I see the machine. We have to get it before the moon does. Copy that. I'll meet you there. Oh my days. Okay, here we go. We have to fight an entire moon. If the hive mine wasn't bad enough. Oh shit. Alright, alright. Relatively simple so far. Yeah, at least my stasis is back up and running. Now where do I go? Aha! Oh, shit! Little bastard. Summit just for you. Well, at least the world's putting itself back together just for me, eh? Oh man, this is gonna be weird. Well, progress is saving. Um. Isn't that the thing's mouth? Oh shit. Don't need to be anywhere out, you bastard. Okay, uh, okay, that come away. Let me ask you something, Isaac. Do you feel this was a good idea? I could have smashed all of those the usual way, but... Jesus. Fuck. There was someone else behind me. God 
Damn. as you can. Oh, is it? Is someone going that way? Ah, oh, do I get to revisit all the fucking nightmares of the series before, you know, making it out of here? name of Satan's portion, man. Really? I've got time to suit up into a new suit. Well, we all know what suit we're going to go out on, don't we, folks? I know what suit I'm going out on. Let's fill up on that, and then I'll use a bunch of smalls to top me off. We are going out in the N7 suit, folks. The only true suit. Isaac Shepard going in for one last try. You know, with Danik's death, as much as he deserved to go out like that, I, I, I kind of feel like I was robbed. Oh shit. Okay, don't get splattered on debris. That's the plan, folks. Oh, bollocks. Ugh. Oh, what? Okay, let's try that again. Yeah, we all know our uh, suits foobar. Alright, let's try it again then. Alright, so dodge that. Through. We need to go up for that one. 
need to be down for that one. Oh yeah, we gotta get down with it. Oh, damn. Okay, maybe I need to go up then with that. Okay. Can we skip this? No. Here we go. Third time's the charm. I can touch so much as nothing. Can't even graze it. Okay, down on that one. Right. My current nemesis right now. Okay, I was going the wrong way about it. Though, there's the, there's the glow, the home plate. Oh shit! Oh, hi! Oh, look at the little eyeballs. Isaac, I know you're battered like a Friday night piece of cod, but come on. We gotta kill that thing? There's not enough ammo in the world! And we'll have to make some up. Look, there's markers floating all around me. I can use this TK charging plate and throw them as weapons. Ah, damn it. Where are the markers floating all around? Oh, Jesus. Get an eye full of that. There's another eye. Bet you didn't think I'd see that, did you? Oh, okay. No, no, I can't beat him legitimately. Let's throw fucking twitches at him. No, I gotta shoot the tentacles, my dude.
There's another Roy. Please tell me that's the last one. Christ. E fucking E. So this is it, huh? We use that codex. Yeah. No more bullshit. We die here now. But Earth. That's a nasty head wound you got there, Isaac. I'm not gonna lie, mate. Fucking hell, you look messed up. Isaac? Isaac? Are you there? Carver? Isaac? You're gone, aren't you? The mark is gone. It's gone too. Isaac, you did it. You really did it. Earth space coordinates confirmed. Shock drive enabled. Standing by. At least Ellie made it out of this one. But we have DLC. Interesting to see where that picked up. Gunner Wright is Isaac Clark. Ricardo Shavira is John Carver. And Sunita Henry is Ellie Langford. Robert Gant is Robert Norton, and somebody else is somebody else, and blah blah blah, yakety smackety. Now, I am wondering, is it going to be another credits fake out? <laughs> so there's the moon, Tau Volantis. Shoot for the moon. So, have we got another incredibly long credit screen to roll through? Who knows? I'll find out in a minute. 
Now, I do believe the DLC mission actually takes place directly after this. So it'll be interesting to see how Isaac and Carver survive, if indeed they both survive. Um, current gripes with the main game. The saving. Oh man, I do not like how this game saves. Auto saving. I like to have saves under my power. Or I mean, if you're gonna do a, if you're gonna do an Iron Man save system like that, at least save it when you exit the game. It just oh, a couple of times in that where I had to redo like whole swaths of the game because I missed a, a freaking saves uh, a, a blooming auto save was name. Or I got to a point where it's like, yeah, I'm sure it would have auto saved, but no, no. But other than that, I mean, <sighs> see, my gripes with this game is it's less about the enemies just become a generic enemy in this one. If you see what I mean, there's. They move so fast, there's no real time to be able to dismember them. The plasma cutter in this game would be absolutely garbage to be able to... It, it just wouldn't hold up to anything in this particular run. You have to build the biggest, the baddest weapons. Absolutely. Saying that, I'm not overly keen on the, the way you have the weapons. I preferred it when you could choose four solid weapons and those were your weapons. I didn't like the whole, you know, make your, make someone out of this sort of weapon. I do feel that the, the customization in this was definitely bloated to unnecessary proportions. I mean, some of the toys you can make up are pretty nice, you know. In the end, I found a, a set of weapons that, um... I enjoyed using but um, yeah I don't know I think I can see where people had their gripes with this one it's not a horrific game it just didn't feel like a dead space game and having literally gone through the other two straight before this one I can honestly say this did not feel like a dead space game because it took away from the, the whole dismemberment thing, for one. Enemies were so fast, you would have to stasis absolutely everything just to be able to freaking take it apart. Or, you know, unless you're more skilled than I am, which isn't difficult. Um, the other thing... The cover system. I know they had to shoehorn in the unitologists to fight you. Because obviously they were like the main antagonist in this one alongside the, the well, I'd say the unitologists were the main antagonists. And the necromorphs were more of a side enemy. It was like yeah, the whole place is infested with them, but they're not the real big deal here. It's the unitologists. And quite honestly, the cover system was hot garbage. <laughs> Unnecessary in a game like this. Absolutely. This is what happens when a company sees something doing well in another game, like Gears of War or a, another game that utilizes cover and then tries to emulate it into a game that doesn't need a cover system it just yeah that was definitely a uh, that was definitely another downer the story for me though was pretty decent though a little disjointed from everything else 
that we went through. Although I do like the idea that... I, I do like the whole sovereign space dudes finding this whole thing initially. It's starting off and then them killing everyone to make sure it didn't happen again. But there's better ways to handle that. <laughs> I like the bits where we were going around the derelict ships. That was pretty cool. Um, once we got down on the planet... Eh, eh, it was alright. It was nice to be fighting necromorphs that were based on uh, the alien civilization that found them before. Um, and then you got a little bit of the, the, the human necromorphs as well as the alien necromorphs. But yeah. If I had to rank these games in order, it would be 2, 1, and then this one. 2 hit all the markers for me. I freaking loved 2. It was a decent balance of horror. It was a good balance of action. Story was solid. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I can see why everybody says 2 was the best one. The first one... I kind of like the silent protagonist thing. But I just felt like Isaac was nothing but, um... I felt like he was nothing but a gopher. You know, go and do that, Isaac. Yeah, I'll just go and meaninglessly do that because I'm told to do it. I have no voice. So I'm not going to tell you. Eh, fuck off. I mean, you don't do it in any of the other games, but at least he complains. <laughs> or he comes up with the idea himself. Um, The first one definitely set the bar. The second one definitely went over the bar. The third one decided we're going to cram a load of stuff in there that's completely unnecessary and we're going to trip and fall and roll underneath the bar. <laughs> but we shall see where the DLC takes us. Um, as far as final boss battles go. Two didn't really have one. To be fair. It was basically... Oh, no, actually, yes, it did. Beg your pardon. I forgot the whole mental brain thing fighting um, ne uh, Psycho Nicole in your brain. If I had to choose my favourite end boss battle, it would probably be two. Purely for the fact that number one's boss battle, though initially intimidating, is simply run left, run right, shoot run left run right shoot now you could say kind of the same about the second boss battle because simply it's mow down the hordes of little um shadow enemies and make sure nicole doesn't touch you so you can shoot her and then open up the warp thing but i felt that one there was a bit more agency to that one as opposed to the final uh, the hive mind boss fight now the hive mind boss fight in three if they did what they did in 3 with what they did at the end of the first game plus kind of mix in the two, that wouldn't have been too bad. Throw enemies at you whilst you're trying to kill this giant thing. Because that would make it a little bit more intense. Especially if they start sending those twitchy fucking things. Oh god, I hate them so much. But yeah. Definitely number two's boss battle versus and then number one's boss battle. The third game's boss battle, currently fighting the bloody moon on the platform and shooting markers at it. Eh. <sighs> I kind of felt bad for the moon, actually, to be honest.
at the end there. Only a little. Only a little. So, yeah, I guess we just got to wait until these bloody credits roll out of the way. See whether or not there's any after credit scene, which I doubt. Mum, Dad, Bro, my personal legend, Cynthia, Grandma, Diddy, Ginger Bear, Angel, and Monster. Oh my god. Fuff and Nanny for being neglected. <laughs> Special thanks to Mum, Tiffany, and Yennefer. Good grief. To Isaac Clarke and the Mum for introducing us. Previously on Dead Space, use of NASA Earth image. All right. This product may include in-game sponsorships and product placements. shocked back to earth she left you behind Isaac hard difficulty complete new game plus have been unlocked in the front end dead space legend suit set now available in the suit kiosk uh, plus three speed circuit set available in the bench 